Hello everyone, so today now let's look at our question 5, also a kind of complex fraction calculation question. You see, 2 times 3 over 1 times 4, 5 times 6 over 4 times 7, 8 times 9 over 7 times 10, and plus blah blah blah, blah plus 2, 98 times 99 over 97 times 100. You see, the order is 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10. 97, 98, 99, and then 100. So we can find four consecutive numbers here. So um, maybe you should find out the pattern. But uh, have you already find out only four numbers as a group in one fraction? So firstly, if you cannot find out any method to separate or to simplify this kind of fraction, so why not calculate first? So we can calculate as this one, 2 times 3 equals to 6, 1 times 4, 4. 5 times 6 over uh, is 30, 30 over 28. 8 times 9, 72 over 70. And plus, blah, 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 plus 2, 9,702 over 90, 9,700. Okay, so you see, the numerator is always 2 bigger than the denominator. You see, 70 plus 2, 28, plus 2, and the 4, plus 2. Okay, so maybe we see the numerator is always 2 bigger than the denominator. So we can separate this kind of fraction like that. So we can write it like 1 plus 2 over 4, plus 1, plus 2 over 28, plus 1, plus 2 over 70, and plus blah blah blah, plus 2, 2 over 90, 900, uh, 9,700. Okay, so you see, we can combine the same number 1 and also the next part fraction, we can use a bracket. So also we find out 2. We always have a 2 on the numerator. So we can put 2 outside the bracket. So the sequence will like that. Okay, so this one, uh, we see 4. Also, I can write it like 1 times 4, 28, 4 times 7. So this one, uh, yeah, I like it very much. And the next step is to do the difference, uh, the method of difference to separate this kind of fraction. And also to find out how many one do we have. Okay, so next uh, step may be very easy for you to calculate. And I want to mention one more important thing is that this is the first method you calculate all things and find out the pattern. So maybe in the later in your junior high school, you can use another method called general term formula. So you see one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. Then we can use n to represent one and other number have re number relationship between n. For example, n equals to one. So four is just uh, one plus three. So four, I can write it like n plus three. Two is n uh, plus one and three is n plus two. So actually, I can show you the general term formula. You can use this method. Also can help you to find out how we can rewrite this kind of fraction. Okay, so just have a look and uh, you don't need to master this method. So next step, let's calculate how many one do we have. So you see, yeah, this one, four, the first group, second group, third group, and uh, what's the, how many group? So you see, this one is one times four. This one, four times seven. So this one means the first group, the second group, the third group, and uh, I don't know how many group is it. So you see, the 1 means 1, 4. What's the relation between 4 and the second group? It's 4 minus 1 divided by 3 and plus 1. It's just the, the number of the group. For example, 7. 7 minus 1 divided by 3 and plus 1. It's just the 2 plus 1 equals to 3. So actually, it's the third group. So in the last group, 97 minus 1 divided by 3 and plus 1. What's the answer? Yeah. 32 plus 1 equals to 33. Okay, so we find out how many 1 do we have? Yeah, we have 33 1 here. So we can rewrite it like 33 plus 2 times 1 over 1 times 4 plus 1 over 4 times 7 and plus blah 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 plus 2 1 over 97 times 100. Okay, you see, uh, yesterday and the, the day before yesterday, we have find out how to use the method of difference to separate this kind of fraction. So 1 over 1, this one minus 1 over 4, yeah, you see, this time the numerator is not equal to the difference of the product of 
denominator. Actually, the denominator, two numbers on the denominator, the difference is three. So we want the numerator to become three. What should I do? Yeah, we can times three at first, and don't forget, uh, don't forget divide by three at the end. So we can rewrite it like that. Uh, so it's actually two over three times three over this part things. And also now we can separate this kind of fraction, use the method of difference. We can write it like that. So you see, minus one over four, plus one over four, minus one over seven, plus one over seven, minus one over 10, blah, 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 and cancel, all cancel. So the sequence will become like that, equals to 33 plus two over three times the bracket, one minus one over 100. So the answer over there is very easy to calculate. The answer is just uh, 33 and 33 over 50. Okay, for this question, the first step, maybe you have a try to calculate the value of all the numerator and the denominator and find out the pattern. So after that, you find out the numerator is always two bigger than the denominator. So we can always write it like one plus two over something. And after that, take out all the one. So calculate how many one do we have. And next step, use the method of difference to find out what's the answer inside the, the bracket. Okay.